Hey y'all, Stacy here. Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, do another flip cut. And I let this one set for a couple of hours because, um, you know, that one I did earlier, I had let sit overnight. Sort of accidentally, I poured it and then I just got too tired to finish it. So, let's see. Um, anyway, it sat and um, I was worried it was going to turn out really bad because of that. Be all glommed up and stuff, but... It actually turned out really well, so I thought I'd let this one sit a little while and see how it did. You know, um, just see if it made a difference. So we'll see how it did. Uh -oh. This is the same colors as the last one. Um, they're the colors that that guy that's supposed to come by and look at my stuff picked out. Um, with a little bit of a variation, uh, I used Prussian blue, just like in the last one. Um, the colors that he wanted were blue, black, red, purple, and green. And last time I used Prussian blue, and then I used uh, Liquitex Thalo green. In this one, I used Deco Art Emerald green. This one I used, uh, instead of using primary red, I used Liquitex Crimson. It's just kind of a brighter, kind of a lighter shade, I guess. Then um, I used the same black. Uh, I put an aqua, I threw an aqua marine into this one too. And then the last one I had turquoise, I think. Yeah. And then. Um, Doxylene purple, just like in the last one. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that, um, that red. Um, It's almost orange. It's kind of a almost vermilion. Um, not quite, but almost. Um, I love vermilion. Um, but anyway, the one that sat overnight had tons of cells in it. It was just y'all should check out that video. I don't know what its name is. I, it's one of the ones from today. This one doesn't have nearly as many cells as that one did, but it's pretty, um, and it may have more when we stretch it out. Uh, let's just see what we get. It's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. Um, I don't we see a few more cells, but the colors are really pretty. so weird to me. I was commenting in my last video about how, you know, when we do flip cups, we have roughly the same amount of each color in each cup. And yet, look at how it does. You know, there's hardly any red over there on the left, on my left. Um, so I'm going to spread some up that way. But, you know, I mean, I put the same amount of red in each cup and you don't hardly see any on that side. It's just weird. Um, how that does. I like this though. It's pretty. Look at those patches where the paint doesn't want to adhere. There's two of them. I'm going to cover them up. But, um, that's been happening a lot lately. There, look at that one up there at the top. Um, these canvases from Hobby Lobby, for some reason lately, um, I've had it happen now. The last batch I bought and this batch, they're both doing that. And see that over there? The paint just doesn't want to adhere to it for some reason. It's very strange. Um, you just have to keep going over it, you know, covering it up. Um, I'm going to decrease that green just a little bit. Let's 
just a little too big. But I like that swirl thing that's going on over there. I don't want to, you know, get rid of it. Sorry, I know y'all can't see very well right now. Just a minute and I'll be done and put it down. Okay. Ooh, pretty cool cells over here. Um, I don't like it as well as I did this, as I did the swipe I did earlier. Um, the swipe, and my cigarette is still burning over here. Burning house down. Um, it's pretty. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of cells that the swipe did. Um, of course, you know, they're different. You know, they always have a different composition from flip cut to swipe. Um, they're not going to ever be similar and you know that's a good thing so well, I like these cells over here those are really cool there's some more popping out some pretty vermilion in there oh, not vermilion but crimson I'll just torch the hell out of it and see what it does there's some more coming out I like that big purple strike down through the middle. If some pretty cells would pop out of it, it'd be really nice. There's some cells coming out. I love those red ones popping through there. That's really cool. again and uh, pour one and let it sit or not and just as an experiment you know see if it does like that last one did um, because that was really cool and that was a flip cut you know my arm's tired but I can't do it with my left hand I'm afraid I'll dig into the paint oop that burned out ooh <laughs> that was bubbling. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. Um, it's very different than the other one. The colors are, you know, I mean, obviously different. You know, I mean, I picked different colors, but uh, the way they have mixed and everything, it looks, it doesn't look like they're even anywhere close to being the same kind of colors. It's pretty. Um, I don't know which one I like. I mean, I think I like the other one better, but I don't know. It's pretty. Okay, got a little patchwork to do right here. This happens sometimes. Um, right now it's happening because this canvas is one of those non-adhering canvases. Um, but it happens sometimes anyway because I'm not using a base coat. I'll get little patchy places here and there. Um, but like I said, I've always said, it's no big deal at all. You just get a little extra paint and dab it on there and there you go. I don't even have my apron on. Uh, let's see what y'all think. I've got those other videos I posted. One of the ones I've done today I've already got up. See, that glare is just horrible. I'm going to have to do something about that. Because this is really pretty and... Uh, it's messed up. Uh, let's, uh, oh, that helps. I cleaned the lens. Um, all right, let's have a look. That's pretty right there. I like that. Oh, and there was gold in this. I forgot to mention De Deco Art, uh, 24 karat gold. Um, none of them mentioned gold. Uh, these that I've been making for people, they have not mentioned the gold, but I've added it because I love gold. I like this one. I really do. The colors are beautiful. Really pretty together. And um, I added the gold um, just because I think almost everything looks better with gold. You know, I just love it. That's beautiful over there. Look at that. Mm, pretty. And um, this right in here with these little blue cells and the red cells. Look at those little bitty red cells there. That's really pretty. 
I'm going to try to put a bag over that light kind of on this side and um, see if that will help with that glare because it just makes everything so hard to see. It's very bad. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate it. Look at these pretty ones right here. I just noticed. Look at that. The green popping up in there and those red over there in that side. That's pretty. Um, I'm happy with it. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate y'all being here. Please stop by, say hi, leave a comment, leave a question, whatever you want to do. Tell me what you're working on. Um, I'm available for help of any kind. I'll leave my email address on there. You can have my phone number. We can talk in person. Um, I'm totally available to help anybody um, if you need help with this or with stained glass um, or cement monuments and sculptures or mosaics or, you know, resin, whatever. Um, but, um, because I enjoy discussing art with people, and if you want to stop by and talk art with me, I'm totally happy to do that. Um, but if I can help you in any way, just please don't hesitate to reach out. I love doing that. Y'all, I think that's what we're here for anyway, is to share and reach out, make connections, help, be helped, learn, teach, whatever. Anyway, thank y'all for being here. I appreciate it. Y'all join me next time, or check out some of my other videos if you're new. Um, I have stained glass, resin, you know, uh, I don't have any concrete building videos, but I'll make one of those next time I do one. I do concrete sculptures and monuments and stuff like that. That's how I got started. I made a monument for my grandmother when she passed away. We didn't have enough money for a monument at the cemetery, so I decided to make one, and I researched, you know, how to build the frame, how to rebarb and chicken wire, and I made a, about a four-foot cross, and I mosaic the outside of it to decorate it. And I, that kind of led into mosaics. I started wanting to do some more mosaics. And then I started thinking I could save money on Tesserae if I could cut glass. So I taught myself how to cut glass. And then I thought, well, I might as well learn how to do stained glass. And uh, so I taught myself that. But I did it with a little more than YouTube and reading and, you know, researching, you know, online and stuff like that and asking other people. Uh, but I've never had any art classes of any kind. Um, I've done it all just like that, you know, um, it can totally be done. So if you're interested and you have any questions or whatever, y'all just let me know. I'm here. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay safe from the storm. It's just now moving here. It's starting to rain. So I'm in East Texas and it's just now starting to rain. But y'all have a great night. Join me next time. See you later.